Hey there everybody, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. We're out here in the beautiful Rocky Mountains and I got a treat for you. We're gonna be reviewing today and showing you the ins and outs of the Marmot Compressor Plus Ultralight Backpack for 2015. This is the new model that we've gotten our hands on and uh, we're gonna really test this out, show you what are its capabilities and uh, kind of show you what this pack has to offer. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be able to decide whether or not this Marmot Compressor Plus is gonna be the right pack for you. So with that being said, let's get to it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at some of the basic specs here on this pack. First off, I'll give you some of the dimensions. What we have from top to bottom is 16 inches. So it is a 16 inch long or height, 16 inches. It is nine inches wide. And when it's maxed out, it is nine inches deep. And this is definitely maxed out. So those are some of the kind of, you know, basic size dimensions for you. Then we have a volume of 20 liters, or that equals the same as 1,220 cubic inches and it's gonna weigh in at 12 ounces. So this is super lightweight pack, which is fantastic. And it's made out of 210 denier uh, double ripstop nylon, and it's impreg impregnated uh, with silicone on certain parts of it. And um, those are just a few of the basic specs for you guys. The weight also in grams, I'm trying to help you uh, European people, and those, those of you using the metric system, the gram weight of this pack empty is 348 grams. So very lightweight. The, the name definitely, you know, it goes with it, ultralight. This is definitely an ultralight pack. So those are some of the basic specs for you here on this Marmot. All right, so this pack is set up real nicely with mesh water bottle sleeves on either side, which is great. So if you're not wanting to use a bladder, you can easily get, you know, a full-size water bottle in there. Very nice, and it's gonna hold up well. Then they also give you a really nice vertical zipper right here, good zip and that can hold a lot of food you can put a lot of kind of different things that you might want i have multiple cliff bars and different things in there and you can kind of see what's in there as well so you can remember what you have inside your pocket so very nice little setup on the outside of the pack All right guys, so we're gonna look at the back panel here and show you what this pack has to offer. It's got that nice, you know, hand grab or you could hang it on your, you know, coat rack or on a tree, depending on what you wanna do. So that's really good, nice strong nylon right there. Then you got your shoulder strap and they've kind of changed this as well, these shoulder pads. Um, they've, they've changed this so it carries weight really well. And I have this thing packed out. This has about 15 to 20 pounds worth of uh, gear inside of it and it's carrying the load very nicely. There's your little uh, hole for your straw for your bladder which is nice. So you can choose basically which side, left or right, you want that straw going through. Then you got really breathable, very thin. You know, this is not supposed to be carrying, I have this really maxed out. This would be about max, it's 15, 20 pounds. I would not go more than that with this pack. Very thin, but uh, holds it very well, breathes really nicely. Lots of little adjustments there. You got your sternum strap that we'll look at here in a second with a whistle on it, very nice. Then you also have a belly strap, which is really nice that it can go away because I'm a pretty big guy. This is gonna be up halfway up my stomach, basically. This is only for, say, like runners or things like that that you're kind of going really fast with this pack and you don't want it bouncing around. That's what I would say this belly strap is for. It's not gonna support any kind of weight. And I do like that they have all these little bungees to keep it out of the way and up along your back. It's not uncomfortable. It doesn't bite into your back or anything. And you can kind of keep it out of the way. They have a drainage hole down all the way at the bottom here as well for the water bladder in case it leaks or you know has some residual condensation or whatever so that's nice as well and then yeah you can feel the water bladder right through here but uh yeah that's the straps as well as some of the other little features on the back side of the pack all right so here's the top pocket that they give you that kind of closes up the main compartment it's got a nice little clip back here you flip that over and get into your main compartment but we're going to look inside just a simple dump pocket, really good zippers again, really good you know pull, zips open real nice. Very big, they enlarged this over last 2014's model. So, I mean, I have a little mini survival kit in here. I have my wallet, my cell phone, and I got my keys. And the nice thing too, is that they put this little paracord tassel on the inside, so you can actually do a little kind of maybe mini carabiner and attach your keys right there to the zipper so it's not you know flying around down in, in there and maybe falling out. So I like that little feature. Just, you know, details are, are very important on packs, and that's a really cool little detail for that main pocket on the lid of the pack.
All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, look at the inside of the pack. So we're gonna flip our main pocket open. You got that real nice long, super long, I think that's a little bit overkill, drawstring there with a nice little clamp to you know cinch it down nice and tight. So now here is the main compartment. It's just a dump pocket. So on one side is your bladder attachment. Now this is a 70 liter bladder in here. Uh, excuse me, 70 ounce bladder in here, and it's basically maxed out. I don't think a 100 liter would fit in here, so I'd say 70 is what this could reasonably hold. And you do have that little nice clip right there, so you, it'll hold your water bladder and keep it from sinking down as the water is emptied. And then it does have this kind of divider, which is nice that it's not just kind of hanging in your main compartment, uh, and it's kind of a kind of like a foam. They give you this kind of foam right here, which is rigid. So there is a little bit of rigidness to the pack and that divides the water bladder from the rest of the, the gear. And if you wanted to, you can easily take this out and then it can becomes totally collapsible. And we'll look at that in a minute. And you know, it's totally compactable into like pfft, the size of like a softball almost. So that's the, the water bladder sleeve portion of it. You do get a little carabiner clicker right here for your keys if you wanted to. I like that. Again, the little attention to detail, really important. Then uh, the rest is just this huge dump packet. I'll just show you what I have, my huge, medical kit in there full size I got my whoops <clears throat> my full size uh, camera case that's very large I got my rain jacket all three of these you can see here and, and if Brian if you want to just kind of show that real quick you can see how bit much stuff that is uh, and then I got two fixed blades two smaller fixed blades I'm reviewing like <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then I have my knee pads all the way down at the bottom so just kind of show you again the, it's very large you can get a lot of you know your gear inside that main compartment so it's very nice and uh, with that size at right around 20 liters uh, it's definitely a good size pack for those you know one day hiking trips uh, you know and going exploring it's awesome all right guys just wanted to show you before I forget uh, that if you remove the foam spine you can really compact this and get it even smaller here, uh, this pack, which is fantastic for travel, or if you're doing a multi-day backpacking trip and maybe you have your big, really large backpack, maybe a 60, maybe a 70 liter backpack, uh, but you want a smaller backpack to maybe go do little, you know, exploring hikes once you've reached maybe a location, something like that, it's a great idea as well. But uh, you can see here that little paracord attachment that they gave us that I talked about that you could, you know, attach your keys to on that main uh, pocket on the top, the lid pocket, that's what the pack folds into and that's the, your little toggle right here to unzip it and you basically just pull it all out and so it's stuffed all in there and now it doesn't have the spine so there might not be quite as much support but it'll still get the job done particularly for light hikes uh, or light excursions regardless if you're traveling or backpacking Okay, so two last features on the outside of the pack is this little nylon bungee that is adjustable and it is in line with the little toggle down here so that you could run your trekking poles through there or a monopod or even a small tripod you could attach through there, which is a nice little feature again, or I have my Night Eyes S clip. I clip my you know um, gloves to that a lot of the time, different things like that. And then they also give you compression straps, which is really great. You can unclip those, you know, you could, uh, again have like something longer like a tripod a small tripod along the side or if you don't have a lot of gear in your pack maybe you just have a water bladder and then maybe just your snacks or something you can really cinch this guy down tight and really compress the pack and that is on either side which is really nice well everyone it's time for us to wrap up this review for you on the compressor plus from marmot for 2015 their new 2015 model and i got to tell you i love this pack with all the testing that i've done carrying more weight than it's really designed for on multiple treks carrying it on multiple different excursions carrying it with lightweight stuff heavy stuff uh, i think it's a great little pack really holds well you know sits well on my body and i'm a pretty big guy a lot of these smaller packs don't fit me very well this one does it doesn't you know feel uncomfortable and i love how lightweight it is you know i really care about my ounces uh, you know, when I'm picking out gear. So for 12 ounces, phenomenal weight. Uh, the price points there as well, I picked this up at REI for 60 bucks. And for that price point, I think you are getting a great item with lots of little features that really set it apart from other packs in this line. You know, I know uh, Mountain Hardware makes stuff, REI makes their own stuff. Uh, I, and I've reviewed some of those in the past and this one definitely stands out from those. And I really like that a lot. Plus the fact that you can pull out that spine, you know, and you can just crumple it up basically and throw it in a luggage bag. And you know, when you get to your location and after traveling, it's, you know, flying, doing whatever you're doing, you can take it out and really, you know, carry your gear and get some really good, you know, exploration and hiking and backpacking in. So guys, I love it. 
I just think it's a great pack and I would recommend it to anybody who's interested in these ultralight small backpacks. Definitely recommend it over here at Gideon's Tactical. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. Please check us out on all the relevant social media. Uh, check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. And as always, remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.